Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to do the first project in, in the Monk's Makes Kit. Now as you can see I have um, done um, the first one, right, which is to make an LED flash. It didn't take me very long, um, it took me, I did have a bit of the problem at first because I didn't push these leads in properly. I'm sorry you can't see these, I'm going to make it lighter in a minute. Now, in order to do this first of all, you will have to get, you will obviously have to have a kit, and you will have to have a program. Now, I'm obviously not going to tell you the command to get the program. Basically, what you do is, you get this file, you download all the stuff, um, and then you have to change, before you do it, you have to change the directory. That's the way I need to say about that bit. So, I'm um, using a breadboard, which can sometimes be a little bit fiddly. So, let's get started. Okay, everyone. So, you can see I have my Raspberry Pi up and running. I am in the RPESC directory, which is what you need to be in in order to um, get your... Um, oh, I forgot what I'm now. In order to be able to actually execute these commands. It's a little bit annoying, but it's... All right, I'm just going to take my. I'm just going to get started. In order to do this project, you will need a um, 470 hump resistor. Now I don't really know what the hump is; it's just a symbol. Uh, this is it. As you can see, I'll just hold it up to the light. You can't actually see the bands on it using because of my camera color. The camera now on the on the box. It does show you the color. So it's that on the side of the yellow, you just have to find the ones for yellow, then blue, then brown. Now, you will also need two male to female um, jump wires. So you have one wire goes into a port on your um, Raspberry Pi. Now I will actually show you which port, I'll flip up front cover of my Raspberry Pi to show you that. I'm sorry, but I can't really show you very well. Um, it does say on um, these cards included here. I'm not allowed to, like, oh, I'm probably going to take the wrong one. It actually shows you where you, where you got to connect the LEDs to, where you've got to get everything done. And I'm not actually allowed to reproduce them. So I might not as such pop them. I'm not actually going to show them as such. Just need an LED, a red LED. Now, this does look clear. It is actually... Like it is actually a LED of oh, red. I mean, so um, what you need to get started, you also need a breadboard, as you can see. Now, the way a breadboard works is I like to make it work a little bit like a motorway. As you can see, you've got loads for dozens of holes. See, it goes the there's that just as if there's like the main motorway going up that way, and you can go like, going up like going upwards or downwards. Upwards on each each of these rows. So that's not one like that. Now, so that one's like to that one, like to that one, that one, that one. So you know, so it's a bit like junctions. Like for example, you can plug in your, you can plug an LED or you can plug one of these wires into one of these, into one of the thingies, into one of these. Now, the way you do plug them in is you, they are very simple to plug in. Now these on the bottom go along that way. I can't show you that well, but you basically push them in. Now you have got to put a bit of pressure on them sometimes. Now I don't need that one in that position. I'm actually going to remove it. So once so you've got two wires. Now I'm using the black and the brown wire. Actually, it might be helpful if I get the other recipe card. Uh, project what? Make an LED blink. This is a correct one. Okay, so I'm going to get the long wire, the LED, no, it's called the anode and the cathode. I've forgotten which one's which, and um, more techie people out there will know. You simply push the LED into position. Now, um, yeah, it goes in a little bit like that. 
well, things out like that. I'm going to move that back a bit because the can you it doesn't is that it's not exactly clear here to see which, which like ones you plug the um, let them into, but it doesn't really matter as long as, as, long as, I'm, as, long as the circuit fits correct. You, you're right. So the long ones this side. Now as you can see the camera like that. Now next thing you need is an LED. I mean not an LED, a resistor. Now from a long lead, this this three four hundred and seventy hump resistor. Let's plug one end to there. One end there. Make sure we're both plugged in. And as you can see, now it's not, uh, I am very sorry you can't see that very well, just about, see, there you can see it there. So, so far the current can come along the resistor and into the one end of the LED, now it comes to the other, and then it goes to ground. In other words, earth, well, I'm pretty not, it anyway. Now the brown lead for me, this brown one now needs to plug into the beginning bit of the resistor. And to plug this in here. As you can see, I have now plugged that in. So now the current could come from Raspberry Pi into there and then into the resistor. Now from the resistor it then goes into the um LED and then it has nowhere to go. Now we need to so we're going to sort it out by giving it Sending it to ground. Ground pin there. So that should. Let me just check on my diagrams. That one goes. In. Sorry about this. <laughs> yeah, so that's now done. Now, um, there isn't, so that you all know, um, this kit costs £15 from monkmakes.co.uk. Um, it, I've only had it for a, for a few days. And I, I already think it's amazing. I mean, another thing I would, message I would give to you is, please, is when you are, you may be like me, I was a bit scared of pushing them all in, and I thought they were just loose. And But then, well, you, got, you actually got to push them in. I'll just um, revert that. Now the kit you also get, and not only did you get these ways, you also get some mail to mail. So let's say I wanted to attach a button, like right? I want to attach something else. I could, I could do somewhere else on the board. And I wanted to loop, link it over. I could do, or I could probably just use that bit there because of my. I don't exactly know about what the the long ones are for. I'm sure I could find a use for them. Next thing I need to do is, is execute a command. Now I'm going to put sudo python and then the, then the name and enter. Hey pesto, we have you have got a working LED. Now that LED will continue flashing until you press Control C. As soon as you press Control C, it will stop. I'm not going to go into the program on this video. However. Um, time sleep mean and then in brackets I think it's 0.5 by default we're getting something to about a second so it's half a second and that runs a bit more and um, we're not really going to go into the in fact stop that for a second As you can see, it's a very quick strip. script. It's not very long. I'm just going to control X. Clear. Give it a trick. I want to clear something. You press clear always. Press clear. Go back to that. So now I'm going to type in exit. And that's now done. So that now looks me out and I just want to 
Now, obviously, you can also execute this on the on the LX terminal. I just haven't cho I've chosen not to today. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. So, um, I, I follow me on Twitter at BungalowPay. I, al I also have a blog which is pi-guide.co.uk now my twitter is i've got i've got two twitter accounts i've got bungalow pay well, i mean it's at bungalow pay i should say i've also got at raspberry pi guide no raspberry no i've also got at raspberry pi guide now it's pi guide without the e okay thank you very much for watching and goodbye